What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Power Rangers Legacy Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger. So here we are, and there she is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, in the background, we have a bolt of lightning. We got the Yellow Ranger right there, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Legacy Collection Yellow Ranger. Up top here, we have logos and build a Megazord and logos and windows and more windows and words and on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots if you collect all the figures you can build your megazord and that's basically it for the packaging so moving right along here we have miss trini the yellow ranger and another very very cool figure in this line of legacy power ranger figures if i do say so myself and i do because i'm the only one in the room so let's get in close here so we can take a look that's the head sculpt here the helmet and very nicely done. You got the black there for the eyes. You got silver for the nose. And for the saber teeth, you got the silver there for the mouth plates. And of course, the suit is the typical Power Rangers spandex suit design. Nothing really new here. You do have the morpher right there. Done in silver with the red. And there is... They did mold in the saber tooth power coin right there. You can see the little saber tooth tiger in there, which is pretty cool. And again, you know, detail-wise, it's pretty much like the others. All that good stuff going on there. And the back. There you go. Articulation-wise, the head can do a 360. She can look up. She can look down. Arms can do a full 360. Can go outward that far. She has a bicep swivel. She has a elbow joint with 90 degrees of bend. You got the wrist swivel and also that hinge there. So depending on how you work things, you can have that hand going in pretty much any direction you want. She does have that uh, ball jointed ab crunch there. So she can get all her D. Saber two tag. Saber two tag. I'm sorry. Uh, she does have a... I have no idea what I was doing there. Anyway, she does have a waist swivel, but it, you know you don't get too much range of movement there just due to the belt there. But you get a little bit of a waist swivel. Legs can go forward that far back. That's pretty much all the backward movement you're going to get because of her boot. And outward movement, almost a full splits. She does have a thigh swivel. She does have the double jointed knee, which is on that soft ratchet. Um, you do have the boot swivel there, and also you do have the uh, the glove swivel right here, which I always forget to mention because it is kind of a pointless point of articulation, but hey, it's something that moves. <laughs> and also you have the boot swivel there, and the feet can move up, they can move down on a extremely soft ratchet, but you can, you can feel the indents as you move the foot up and down, and you got your tiltage. So just as posable as the other figures. As you can see, um, the, the left leg on mine, Came out a little warped there. You can see it's kind of <laughs> curved in. I have to fix that <laughs> after this review. Just fix it with a hair dryer. Just heat that up and just get it back into shape there. But yeah, her legs a little kind of beep, little bowed in there. That's okay. That is fixable. But there you go. And of course, she does include her blade blaster, just like all the others. Done in red and white with a little bit of silver there at the tip. You can have her holding that if you wish. She holds that quite securely. You can just give her a good, good, good shake. Holds it nice and secure like. And she does include the holster for the blade blaster. It just plugs into the side of her belt. Like so. And you can just store her blade blaster right there at her side. Ready to go. I had that in there wrong. There we go. Like that. So you have her blade blaster all holstered there. And there you go. And now for comparison, let's bring in uh, the movie Legacy Yellow Ranger. So you can see how she looks with her movie self. The evolution right there. And here she is with the figure arts Yellow Ranger. Just so you can see how they look together. There you have that. And now we'll bring in 
the rest of the team here. We will get us a nice group shot here. So we'll bring in pink. We got blue. We got black. And we got green right there. So there we have the core six rangers right there. Of course there is a white ranger figure out that is a white ranger that is out as well. But I mean this is the core six right here with Tommy in his original form. So there we go. We got the team. Yay! And Trini does include the last piece of the Megazord. It does include the right leg of the Megazord. You can see, done in yellow. You can see the silver plastic for the thigh, as well as this bit right here, which is done in that silver plastic. Um, as far as paint goes, you just get that bit of red right there, that red right there, red in the eyes. This is the silver plastic and silver paint here on the little cloths. And that's all the paint. All the detail is there. But um, unfortunately, not picked out in paint. And of course, you have the ball jointed knee, which on mine, this socket's a little loose, but I can tighten that up. And the foot itself is on a ball joint as well. So now, we can finally give the Megazord his other leg. Hooray! So let's pop this on. Boom! And there we go. We finally have a complete... Megazord, let's get up here. Yeah, yeah. Let's move these guys back a little bit here so we can get a better look at the Megazord. So there he is. Cool, cool. I dig it. <laughs> He's not a one legged Megazord anymore. Yay! There he is. There you go. Well, let's take a look at this guy now, articulation wise. His head is on a ball joint um, due to the shape of the head there. It doesn't really look up. Take a look down a little bit. You get a little bit of wiggly waggly. You do get full 360 degrees of rotation there. Shoulders can do a full 360. Outward is pretty much all you're going to get. You can kind of move the shoulder forward and back. Shoulder pads can move um, under 90 degrees. Both elbow bends. The hands are on a ball joint. Um, the legs can go forward, only that far. Backward, only that far. Outward, only that far. The knees are on a ball joint, so you can rotate that as you wish. You have under 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and the feet are on ball joints. They can move up, they can move down, and you get a good amount of tiltage there, so you can get some nice little wide stances. Although considering his legs don't splay out that far, actually do splay out pretty far. You can still have him flat-footed there. <laughs> so that's a thing. It's a thing you can do. So there you go. Let's get them all straightened out here. And we'll bring in another comparison for this guy. We will compare him with the movie Build a Megazord. So you can see how they look together. And there you go. There you have the evolution of the Megazord. So there you have that. So there he is with the movie Legacy Megazord. And there you go. There we have our completed Megazord. We have our complete team. Of course, minus the White Ranger, but that's interchangeable with the Green Ranger. <laughs> but we do have the complete team as far as the six girls. But we will be taking a look at the White Ranger in time. But uh, yeah. Very cool figures, you know, like I said time and time again, these are really cool, just really well done, very playable action figures. I, I'm really enjoying these. They're very, very cool, and I do quite dig them. And I got a little Megazord now. It's pretty cool, so. There you go. Now, if you would like some Legacy Power Ranger toys of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Power Rangers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Power Rangers Legacy Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, palm in your face! Hi there. Just so you know, once you go cheetah, you never go back, okay? I feel like I've done this before. No, oh, out of the way, amateur! Tiger lady, Waspinator, I love you!
I know he's done that before.